everybody how are you okay so let's do the demonstration about our mask so when you finish already your sketchbook so now you have ready um, you know what are you going to do okay but there is always a moment in which you can begin thinking about things that probably are not going to work okay so for me for instance this part is going to be a little bit um, weird so probably I need to create some shadow here okay pretty good there you go so I finished this one so this is going to be probably next to me so it can help me okay pretty good um if you have your computer your laptop next to you that will be fantastic because still you can see the original photo okay if not your sketchbook will be enough it will give you enough information so uh, your mask normally uh if you notice they are blended here and they have the paper inside so it's a little bit uh the texture is going to be a little bit tricky okay so how i am going to do it is up to you um, but i'm going to show you how you can do it um, so if you have tape you can use tape and you can add then um, here to attach the elastics so it will not move okay so um and you can make also this one a little bit um you know stretchy with your hands if you don't like that um what i'm going to use is i'm going to use uh santiago's guinea pig uh this is uh this is from peru and so i'm going to use this little one because uh, it was very um accessible it was here on the carpet because he is not pretty good organizing so i'm going to use the bat okay <laughs> so i think it's pretty awesome because it's going to help me um, another thing that I did is I try on already. So I try on, yeah, I mark here with a pencil, and this is where my uh, the pointy of my nose was. Okay, so I know that is this is the pointy of my nose, so I want to coordinate that with the nose of the giraffe. Okay, so you have also first uh, try it on, look on the mirror, and just try to see where is the pointy part of your nose, mark it with a pencil. So that is going to help you to organize uh, when you put on at the end that it goes with your design. Okay, pretty good. So first you have to try on, uh, mark with a pencil, and uh, so that will be ready for you. So what, uh, oh, this is going to work awesome. Look, it looks like a diaper. Okay. I hope you have something like this. If you don't have something like this, um, which is, you know, uh, this has a lot of dog's hair because uh, it was on the floor. I have a, do a puppy. So anyhow, um, you can use a pillow. You can use anything that can give you that shape. Um, even you can use a, a book probably, okay? So I'm pretty sure that you will find something that is going to help you. So I will try to trace everything with my pencil, okay? So this is how I am going to do. I'm going to, since this is going to be the nose, um, I know what it is. So now I can just clean it. Another thing that you can do if the eraser is not working pretty well, is just move in between your hands. And that is how it's going to get a little bit cleaner. Um, okay, there you go. I'm going to begin first doing the same thing that I did on the um, on my sketchbook. Okay, I mark it, the nose. I'm going to use my two hands. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use my two hands. I'm going to try to be also very patient. So after I mark the nose, so everything will follow. Um, the proportions so here is the other one and this nostril is a little bit bigger it's a little bit um, try to find common uh, shapes like rectangle rectangles um, squares oval parts and just try to repeat that if something is complicated and simplify that part and so this is the I can make even the mouth bigger so it can have you know it can be a little more um you can have a different impression it can be crazier so here and this is perfect it goes perfectly i'm going to finish with the chin and the mouth so i really like this part because also this part it can get darker so i can make also the tone bigger if i want let me see so i can unfold it 
work with my other hand no problem I have two hands so that is no a problem at all so I really like this bumpy thing here is the part of the lips do you see a giraffe I saw many giraffe um, in um, Minneapolis so um, it was a mother with a baby the baby was um, recently born so it was pretty awesome um, that I, I could see that it was very beautiful 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 animal okay and here goes the, the other chick and later I can begin you know doing those uh, spots okay but do you see pretty good okay so now I'm going to try to make it um, to make those colors and to make it darker okay I'm going to run this one pretty fast let's see So for my mask, I use a lot of um, Sharpies, um, they help me a lot, I think they are going to work pretty well if you are going to use um, colors. Um, I use also color pencil in some areas and also I use my, um, my pencil. Um, eraser was not working pretty well, uh, but other than that, uh, as I say, first do your pencil and later try to do anything that can help you to get um, any values that it can help so in my case i try to use um trying to make to mix brown with orange particularly the, these areas in which they are blending pop up a little more the mouth so i didn't touch it too much with you know black color but the lips are gray and the tongue is normally very gray and other than that i can pop up a little more these dark parts they are very black and i think it's ready for me I'm going to try on let's see hello class so what do you think ah huh? not too bad do you see now it's connecting the, the nose of the giraffe with my nose so it's pretty good also um you know i have here the shape i had to unblend it a little bit but it still continues going there so for uh finishing just i use a shark um a sharpie okay to get it very dark in those areas uh anything that can work for you i use um color pencil here all of this is color pencil very dark um very uh very hard uh, i use yellow and orange as you can see to make it very dark and this is a little more light 
so this is part of the mouth and so we want this part to be lighter okay so this is a little darker so it has the sense of 3d okay darker here cheeks and here because of the mouth and because of the lips it needs to be lighter okay or brighter okay pretty good do you like it i'm okay with that okay so let's have fun um Take a photo, send me your end result. If you have any problem with any material at the end, if you want something specific and you don't have it, just let me know. Probably I can send it to you. Okay? Pretty good? Okay, class.